today. In this tutorial we will be looking into how to block websites on Google Chrome or any browser that you have that you use to use all of the internet services. So let's get started with Chrome and see how it's done in Chrome. So first what you gotta do is you gotta open up Chrome and you gotta go to settings, go to extensions and then go to get more extensions. It will take you to the Chrome Web Store and from there you can search for block site and it's the first one in the list. It's offered by whips.com. Just click on add to Chrome and add extension. So as you can see, it will take you to the thank you page for the extension. So after that's done, all you gotta do is just open the options and you'll see the dashboard of block site over here. So before you get into configuring all the websites to block and stuff, first what I would recommend you to do is go to settings and extensions and under block site, I will recommend you to uh, allow in incognito mode. So what this will do is even though the user is in incognito mode, this extension will work and still block the website that you don't want the user to go to. So after that's done, I would recommend you to restart the Chrome browser and again go to the options and from here you can either enter the URL or I can go to a website let's say you want to block google.com you can right click on that and select block site and add the current site to block list or the easy way is just to enter the website here let's say you want to block google.com and add the page and you can redirect the page to a different page so i would recommend you to do that because let's say if you block google.com it will give you the give you a notification that the google.com is blocked by block site so user will have an idea that you're using a plugin or some sort of um, application to use uh, to block the website so they can go and try to find a solution for that but if you will redirect them you will not they wouldn't have a clue that uh, you is using an extension or a third-party software to block the website. So let's see how it works. Let's say you want to redirect Google.com to let's say Mashable.com. If you said that, and let's say the user go to Google.com, it will automatically redirect to Mashable.com. So the user will think that it's some kind of flaw in the internet or with your browser and they would not have a clue that you've actually blocked uh, the website so that's and we will also recommend you to set the incognito mode redirect because let's say if you go to incognito mode and type in google.com it will take you to mashable but if you had not enabled the incognito mode you not be able to reject the user or even block the website so that's one way to block the website another way is to choose a CSV file that you have created before so if you have no idea what a CSV file is or how to create one what I would recommend you is to add all the pages that you want to block all the websites that you want to block and after everything's done and everything's set up I would recommend you to export the file and you will get a down um, get a CSV file in a computer that opens up with Excel file. You don't have to open it, but next time, next time you want to block the site, you don't want to want to enter all the URLs. All you got to do is import import the file from here, the CSV file from here. So that's it. So another option the block site gives you is blocked words. So what this does is, if there's any any word that uh, mentioned gets mentioned in the URL, then the URL will be blocked. So let's say if it uh, turn that off or turn it on, that's fine. You got a custom list. So all you gotta do is add the words. 
let's say you want to block Facebook or you just gotta add a word enter and then games or music or any nude content or adult content just gotta add a word and you take the page to let's say mashable or let's say google.com you can set that so now the cool feature of this is that you've got you get your uninstalled protection but this is only for the premium account so you got to be careful that even though you set a password and stuff if someone knows how this extension works or uh, uninstall this extension all the block will be gone so this is a temporary fix so if you want um, a permanent or much safer protection then you gotta go and get a premium account it's $4.99 to get a premium version so we recommend to do that if you're really serious about blocking sites so